Hi, I'm Jonathan Sposato. I'm the chairman of GeekWire, and this is how I typically buy jeans. Look at all this here. I've got straight regular waist, let's see, we're relaxed low waist, hmm, or do I want boot cut? Wait a second, where's my size? Let's see, well I can't find my size here, and these are kind of out of order. Wait a minute, I'm confused. Am I even in the right section? Okay, alright, there has got to be a better way. I've been told that there's a revolutionary new shopping experience going on here, just right here in the U District. It's called Hointer, and it's for all the guys who actually hate to shop. Now, ironically, now come follow me. Now, ironically, I actually love to shop, so I don't know if that makes me a good candidate for this test or a bad candidate, but uh, I'm told that this is pretty amazing, that this is a new way uh, for me to buy jeans, in this case, at the Hointer store, and uh, I'm going to show you how that's done. it in and here's a store wow immediately i'm hit with a bunch of jeans i can see what's going on here the different finishes the different brands i can see different pockets wow this is great and uh and i believe i have to download an app for this so let me just actually take out my phone and uh oh here it is i already have it i'm gonna go ahead and scan all right, let's do this. This looks good, right here. There it is, it's scanned. And then I'm gonna hit that I want this size. And I'm gonna go ahead and try it on. And it's gonna be in fitting room number three. Let's go to fitting room number three. Fitting room number three. Those are the very pants that I just scanned in, in the size that I selected. That's amazing. Okay, now if you can give me a moment, I'll try these on. I would, um, I would, I would be ready to buy these. The most amazing moment was when you walk into the fitting room and they're, they're there. there. They're there. They're there. That was cool. like well, I actually had a pretty fantastic experience. I was skeptical at first because I'm actually the kind of guy that enjoys uh, sort of meandering around a big comfy store that's softly carpeted with piano music playing. Maybe somebody comes over and serves me a glass of scotch. That's actually happened. Uh, but this was really amazing because it exceeded my expectations in terms of how quickly I got the items that I wanted. It almost felt like a magical moment when I scanned the items, uh, those were the items I wanted, and then when I was ready to, when I hit the button try on on the application, it directed me to a dressing room and automatically the clothes were already there and no fuss, no muss, I try them on, uh, I could buy them right there. When I returned the items, they disappeared from my cart. Um, uh, pretty um, paradigm shifting, actually, in a lot of ways, both for the customer and then also for the um, uh, sort of the economics of the store itself in terms of labor costs, shelf, product stocking, uh, those kinds of things. My name is Nadia, and I'm a founder and chief executive officer of Hoenter. And Hoenter is a pilot store, it's just a pilot, but it's a combination of technology applied to traditional shopping. And what it does, it looks at traditional shopping, identifies things which people hate about it, digging through piles, lugging items, long checkouts, small feeding rooms, and it gets rid of all the negative experience and it makes it fun. There is something very special about it. Um, I would say that a lot of times, the typical experience in 99% of the cases um, is that you really don't know what's going to happen and you really worry and you struggle. And in fact, after you launch, it's still not clear. The evidence is inconclusive. And those are the companies that end up surviving and actually doing quite well. They, they, they figure it out, they work the problem, they become profitable. In this case, I think Nadja is, is, is uh, uh, already off to an amazing start where 
they're firing on all cylinders. It's resonating with customers. It's resonating with their um, uh, the brands. Uh, uh, it's it, it's 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 and, it, and it's in fact a delightful user experience, a shopping experience. And so it it, it is a funny uh, uh, aspect of where what's the problem? What's when is the other shoe going to drop? And and I would say that they're within that lucky, you know, rarefied one percent where you know, like a Pinterest or sort of like a Facebook, if you will, where you really uh, don't have a lot of resistance to the concept. There's not a lot of market friction to the idea right off the bat. And what ends up happening is that you build up your reserves and you have a lot of, uh, whether it's um, uh, talent or, or, or financial capital or just energy to be able to deal with the issues that you do have later on. Um, so that's fantastic for them. I think that they've just executed beautifully. And I think sometimes the the things that turn out best in life are the things that are the most sort of drama free and uh, easy uh, or smooth. So, yeah. Congrats. So with Winter, uh, with my past experience with startups, startups are hard, and I expected to have a long cold winter and uh, expected to have a lot of uncertainty about whether the model will work or not. And this has just been amazing because everything about Home Enter just worked well. Customers love the model. My costs are much lower than that of traditional retail. My shop floor is 10 times more um, efficient than a traditional retail store. And I need considerably less labor and salespeople on a shop floor. So it's a lower cost and it's a better customer experience. It's a very rare thing. And it's the largest category too. Amazing combination.